Welcome to the Hand and Stone gift card program training video. Hand and Stone takes a unique approach to gift card sales. We connect gift cards to spa packages and services because we believe in giving the gift of health and wellness, not simply a dollar amount. This is a different experience for our shoppers as they are used to purchasing dollar amounts for most retail stores. As a spa associate, you are the expert on guiding our clients towards making the perfect gift card selection for any occasion. In this training video, you will learn the types of gift cards that we offer, how to deliver an effective gift card presentation, and how to overcome the request for an introductory offer on a gift card. To complete this lesson, you must score a 90% or better on the lesson quiz. Let's discuss the gift card program overview. Gift cards are sold as spa packages and individual services. Packages are our most popular services bundled together. Our gift card sell sheet offers these options at member and non-member pricing. Now that you were introduced to the program, let's move into discussing how we can make the most of our presentation. Deliver a slow, simple, and clear presentation using the sell sheet as a visual aid. Always begin by presenting our spa packages. Hold the corners of the gift card sell sheet to keep it placed firmly on the counter. And show individual services only if asked by the client. A helpful tip to keep in mind is that your body language is key. Point as you present. Stand tall and nod in between each sentence to confirm that the client is understanding what you're saying. One of the many benefits of being a member is the ability to purchase gift cards for friends and family at a tremendous discount. In most cases, members save $20 to $30 off of non-member pricing. And that's why our sell sheet offers member and non-member pricing on all of our options. Members also receive exclusive holiday promotions. To top it off, members earn rewards points with every purchase. They receive five points for every dollar spent. Here's a tip. You can actually increase gift card sales by reminding members that they have this benefit each time they check out for their service. The first step in our gift card presentation is to identify if the client is a member or non-member. The answer to the question, are you a member with us, is going to determine the direction of our presentation. You are going to see the direction note to point throughout the gift card presentation. This small gesture will keep the client focused following along with each step. Let's review the first part of the script. We'll use the scenario that a client approaches sharing that they want to purchase a gift card. This is how you'll respond. Wonderful, are you a member with us? If the client says yes, proceed by saying, excellent, that means that we'll be looking down this column. Also, as a reminder, you'll be earning member rewards points with the purchase of any gift card. If the client responds no, Proceed by simply saying, no worries, that means we'll be looking at the pricing down this column. The gift card presentation begins on the packages side. Spa packages combine our most popular services together for an incredible experience. After we've identified the pricing column that we will be reviewing, we will begin by presenting the spa packages by reading the following script. First, we have our Serenity Spa package, which includes a 50-minute full-body massage and a signature facial. Next, we have our Indulgence package. And finally, we have our three-month gift membership, which offers their choice of three massages or three facials, along with exclusive member benefits during their time as a member. At this time, you want to pause and allow your client to ask questions and allow them to make their selection. And once they've made their selection, this simple question can turn one gift card sale into multiple. You will ask the client, and how many would you like? Here's a quick tip. 
When beginning the gift card pitch, do not ask any additional questions. Simply identify if they're a member or a non-member and then proceed with confidence. Although our goal is to sell spa packages, a client may ask to see additional options. If prompted, flip to the service side and briefly explain our individual services. We also offer individual massages and facials. These options are a la carte and allow you to customize your own package. Personally, I recommend the choice card. Your recipient will receive their choice of a massage or a facial and then any of these enhancements. Pause for questions, allow your client to make their selection, and then once they've made their selection, finally, you will close by asking them, and how many would you like? Here's a helpful tip when it comes to upselling. Before you check out the client, ask, would you like to add an enhancement to your gift card for just $15? Sometimes phrasing our suggestions in a different way can get you the result that you're looking for. During the holiday season, it is our recommendation that all introductory pricing be removed from the windows and lobby area. However, we do have clients who are purchasing gift cards year round. Our introductory offer grabs their attention and results in them requesting this offer as a gift card. Instead of turning these clients away, sharing that this offer is not valid for gift cards, we want to take the approach of explaining the offer and the way in which they can purchase gift cards at a lower rate. And you guessed it, that is through the lifestyle program. If the introductory offer is requested, smile and respond with confidence by saying, the introductory offer is a great offer that is separate from our gift card program. Members can purchase gift cards at lower rates, but otherwise gift cards are sold at regular pricing. After saying this, if your client is still insistent on purchasing a gift card at the introductory price, we can redirect them by offering a cash value gift card as an alternative. And remember, if the client asks a question about the membership program during this conversation, bring out the membership sell sheet to elaborate on the program. As the final piece of gift card sales training, let's look at some of our frequently asked questions. You yourself may be asked some of these, so let's review how to answer each one. Can I refund my gift card? The gift card cannot be refunded for cash. However, you can use it towards retail or gift it to someone else. Can my gift card be used at other Hand and Stone locations? Yes, it can absolutely be used at any of our Canadian locations. However, prices may vary. What happens if the recipient loses their gift card? Gift cards should be treated as cash. If your gift card is lost, the purchaser may contact the original location at which the gift card was purchased and request that a replacement card be issued. This decision will be up to the owner. Can I put a tip on a gift card? Yes, you can put a prepaid tip on a gift card. Hand and Stone offers three types of gift cards. Let's review the details of each type. Traditional gift cards are the cards that you would use to attach the purchases for services and spa packages that we just reviewed. They are plastic cards and have a barcode number that begins with the spa number and the two letter province in which it was purchased. They are valid at any of our locations nationwide and do not have an expiration date. Promotional gift cards are used for special promotions throughout the year where the purchaser may receive something complimentary. These cards are also plastic. On the back, there is a barcode number that begins with the spa number followed by PR to represent it being a promotional gift card. These cards are only valid at the issuing spa and expire typically four months after issuance. These cards are most commonly used for donations and as incentives to promote our holiday offers. The issuing spa address and phone number are listed on the back as a quick way to identify where the card was issued. These cards are attached to either BOGO massage or facial or promotional gift card, which make it easier to identify when looking up the card. 
Online web store gift certificates are certificates that are purchased online through the Hand in Stone website. They are emailed and can be identified by the 13 digit gift card number. These certificates are valid at any of our locations nationwide and do not have an expiration date. The receiving client prints their certificate from home and brings it to the spa for redemption. Note that pricing varies from spa to spa. Encourage enhancements if there is a remaining balance on one of these gift cards. As we come to a close, let's recap what we've learned on this training video with a few key reminders before we move on to the lesson quiz. Gift cards are connected to spa packages and individual services. Cash denominations are discouraged. Members receive additional benefits for purchasing gift cards. Gift card options are presented through our sell sheet and corresponding script. There are three different types of hand and stone gift cards. They are promotional, traditional, and online gift cards. Before we end today, I will leave you with this quick tip. Pick a spa package as your personal favorite and describe it as such when presenting gift cards. If your purchaser is unsure of their selection, your personal endorsement can mean a lot to them and help guide them in the right direction. I hope you found this review helpful and good luck on your quiz.